welcome back everybody. I hope you've had a really good week and your blankets must be really growing. I can't wait to see how you've got on. So just think you're halfway through the body of the blanket now. So now I'm going to take you through all of the stitches that we're going to do this week. Right, I'm going to show you week three. So this is the third part of the blanket and you're over halfway there now. So it's, look, it's going to be looking really good. And this week, we're starting off with this lovely cerise colour and we're working through until we get to the end of the, the white V stitch here. So another big chunk, but all the chunks are the same. Some of the stripes are narrower, so you'll find with some of, some of the part, you might get more different colours into that part because we've got narrower bands. But um, the actual amount of crochet you're going to do each week works out roughly the same. So we've got the... Um, the berry stitch here and then we go on to some V stitch and the V stitch here I've actually put a row of double crochet in between so that looks nice it gives you a different kind of texture then we've got some more of the double crochet and a little bit more of the stitch that you learned last week last week we did the shell stitch that was the new stitch so we've repeated that again here which looks really pretty and then we're going on to some more double crochet with some bobbles in between. Now the next stitch in this lovely icy blue colour is a new stitch that you've not done yet. It's actually a treble stitch but we work it in a different way. So we work one row of trebles to start with and then we sort of work our trebles in between. But don't forget you're going to have a tutorial about how to do that so there's no need to worry. And then we've got some more of the granny stripe which you've actually done a granny stripe in each of the sections so far so you'll really whiz through that one again some more of my favorite bobbles and then here we've got some v-stitch and that's where we're going to finish this section you'll have noticed that as much as the 10 colors are repeated throughout i do add a little bit of extra cream and that just lifts it and gives it that brightness so in case you're wondering why we've got the extra cream in so that, that's why. So that's the end of this section. So next week we'll finish off the body of the blanket. Now that you've had a quick look at the stitches we're going to be using this week, the new stitch is wide treble crochet. So I'm going to just show you a short tutorial. So this next stitch is a variation of a treble stitch. So I've started my little swatch with a row of trebles and you'll see in your pattern that you will do a row of trebles first. So I've got a row of trebles here. So I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to do three chain and then I'm going to turn. And if you think when we're doing our rows, our trebles, we're always working in these stitches aren't we we're going under the two loops well with wide treble stitch you actually work in the spaces so now we've, we've set the pattern with a row of trebles we're now going to work instead of in the top of the stitch we're just going to go into the space between those two stitches and do our treble so we're going to go into that next space and do the treble. So pulling a loop through, through two, through two. And this is the only difference, but it's really amazing how it gives you such a different look. And all you're doing is going through a space rather than the top of the stitch. So I'm just doing a normal treble through two, through two. But if you see, it does give a very different, different look, a different texture. The one thing you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're doing this is maybe just to hold your yarn a little bit tighter because if you're not careful this row could end up looking quite loose and we want the blanket all to look to be the same tension so just be a bit more aware of your tension with this row so i'm sort of pulling the stitches together a little bit at the top and that keeps it nice and not as loose and that's all we do all the way to the end of the row working into those spaces 
and then you'll do your last stitch into the top of the turning chain. So I'll stop, I'll keep on going along and I'll meet you at the end. Right, so I'm almost at the very end of my row and I'm going to go into that last space there to do my treble and then I'm just going to finish off at the, in the top of that first chain three and that finishes it off nicely and we've got a nice straight edge so you can see it does look quite different so that is wide treble stitch hope you've enjoyed it now that you've watched that tutorial I'm sure you feel really comfortable with carrying on with that stitch because you've actually already worked trebles in lots of the other stitches you've done so far. So I hope you have fun using it. And maybe one quick little reminder, I hope you're neatening those tails. I'd hate to think that when you come back next week, you've still got them all to do. So have a good week and see you next week. Mm -hmm.